Academic service learning is um, when there is a service project component attached to the curriculum of a course. So the students get to go into the community or work with partners and really put into practice what they've learned in their course. It matches with their course curriculum. So one of the projects that we've sponsored in the last couple of years, I know for sure, is a lead testing program through the NEMSCA Head Start here in the local community. So I know that um, um, Dr. Bishop works with the nursing, um, nursing students and she goes into Angie Peters' NEMSCA Head Start and she works with the three and four year olds and they test them for lead. Lead testing is important for the children if we look at it historically. Low-income families tend to live in low-income housing. They tend to rent, and they tend to live in older housing that has uh, lead pipes <clears throat> as well as it uses lead paint. I think the Flint water crisis probably has um, brought that whole issue to the forefront. And it was right around that time that NEMSCA came to us and asked if we would be willing to then um, partner with them to get this done for the children. I am an area manager for the NAMSCA Head Start programs in Big Rapids, which includes Eastwood Early Childhood Center, Crossroads Charter Academy, as well as um, the Morley Sandwood Learning Center. You know, nursing students might work, you know, with children, um, you, you know, in a pediatric care. But regardless, I would think of regardless of which area um, of expertise they have, working with kids and working under pressure um, and working in crisis situations, it's obviously a huge part of what they have to do. Um, so I feel like the experience that they get here uh, is really, you know, really beneficial to them. My personal role in the lead testing project is we just like go to the schools, set up to take samples of their blood, really, and then we um, kind of have to like console them a little bit, like have to learn how to talk to them in a way that isn't going to scare them, that we're going to like prick their fingers, and then we have to get a blood sample, and then we have to take it back, and then we have to actually test it, and then when we get that data, we send it to the state, and then they do the follow-up. Children ages three, four years old don't necessarily like to cooperate with medical providers and so this allows the students then to develop that skill of communicating and get, getting the children then to cooperate for the, um, for the actual blood draw. First of all, I would say, you know, contact one of the faculty who are involved with the program, and that is myself um, or Dr. Johnson Himes. Either one of us would be able to provide inf more information to anyone who would like to be involved.